on the recording, it'll just be me. Okay, so we're going to get started with our meditation. So when you're ready, and if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes. And we won't have any background music with this. We're just going to just going to be with ourselves. Maybe just remembering our intention as we practice to be kind and to bring acceptance and compassion and kindness to all the parts of ourselves. So a great way to begin any meditation is to begin to focus on your breath. We can notice that in this way, the practice helps us connect. We connect to the breath. We connect to the body. We connect to ourselves and we connect to the here and now. So the breath helps us connect. Helps us move away from disconnection. And the body and the breath are always anchored in the now and have always been anchored in the now from the moment you were born to, to where you are in this moment this evening. But it's the mind, our monkey mind, that, that has done its time traveling. So, so in one way, we've always been present in every moment. Part of us has always been present. And then the monkey mind likes to wander. Or likes to go time traveling. And what we do is as we practice, we can just notice, oh, where am I? Or what am I thinking about? Or we just notice, ah, thinking. And then we bring back our attention to the breath and just notice how the breath again helps us connect. Connecting through the breath. We can feel our beautiful breath as it moves through the body. Our beautiful, precious breath. Every breath fresh. Every breath new. Every breath sustaining our lives. Have to do anything because the body will breathe itself. We can let the body breathe. And we can notice how is the body as we practice this evening. And often there's a lot of holding in the body. So we can relax the body a little bit. So softening and relaxing the muscles in the forehead. Softening, relaxing, easing. And around the right eye and around the left eye and in between the eyes. Relaxing and opening, softening the right jaw and the left jaw. Letting the face soften. Feeling the right shoulder soften and the left shoulder soften and ease. So we let go of any holding and just letting your belly become soft because we're often holding on tight. Just seeing can we let go and can we let the chair and the ground fully support us that we can we can trust, we can allow ourselves to be held by the earth and being with our breath from this place and the front of the body is soft the back of the body is tall and strong like a mountain and we are rested and awake and relaxed and aware and we just notice 
where we are in our minds. And if we're thinking, we can say, ah, thinking. <laughs> ah, past thought, future thought, monkey mind. And we can smile at our thoughts. And we can love our thoughts. We don't have to judge them or battle with them. Just the thinking mind. And then we can come back to our breath and our breathing and the moment. Just being, just breathing, just being, just breathing and letting everything else go. Nothing else to do, nowhere else to be. Softening the belly, allowing the breath to bring us home to ourselves and home to this moment. And now we can begin to notice how we are this evening. And we check, can check in. And we can ask ourselves, how is my body? How is my mind? How is my heart? We can ask ourselves this question with the same genuine curiosity and kindness and interest and compassion. We would ask our dearest friend. You can put a hand in our heart and a hand in our tummy if we like. Just check in with this being, this life that's here, that's you. How is my body? How is my mind? How is my heart? How is myself? And really listening now. And really listening to ourselves to understand, not to judge, but just to, to notice and to understand. And your body will communicate to you in energy and movement and sensation and pressure and tension sometimes, sometimes even pain. And this is the language of the body and there's a language of the mind and there's a language of the heart. We can just listen. How is my body? How is my mind? How is my heart? And as we do this, we're practicing attuning to our own selves. We're practicing really getting to know who it is that we are. Not maybe the person that we show the world, but who we really are. How is really your body? How is your mind today, really? How is your heart today, really? How are you today, really? Be really honest with ourselves and really listening. Now just noticing, is there any judgment happening around yourself this evening? Are you judging your body, maybe what your body looks like or a certain part of your body or maybe how your body feels or maybe there's some sickness there or some the body isn't functioning as you might like it to. So just notice, am I judging my body? Am I judging my mind in some way? Am I judging my feelings in some way? Am I judging my life in some way? We can often be caught up in this trance of unworthiness, as Tara Brack says, when we turn on ourselves. And as Bapaji says, each time we judge ourselves, we break our own hearts.
So even for the length of this meditation this evening, what would it be like just to let go of any judgment? Just for a little while. <laughs> Can we try on the thought that we are absolutely perfect as we are? So who am I when I no longer believe there's anything wrong with my body, what it looks like on the outside, or what it feels like on the inside? Who am I when I no longer believe there's anything wrong with my mind? Who am I? when I no longer believe there's anything wrong with my feelings or my emotions. Who am I without the thought that there's something wrong with my life? And what is it like to try on the thought that actually I'm perfect as I am, that my body is perfect as it is, with what it looks like on the outside, with what it feels like on the inside. This is what it means to have a human body. To be human is to be imperfect. What is it like to try on the thought that my mind is perfect as it is? This is what it means to have a human mind. What is it like to try on the thought that my heart and my emotions are perfect just as they are? This is what it means to have a human heart. And what would it be like to try on the thought that our lives are perfect as they are? Because to be human is to be imperfect. And the goal of practice is not perfection. The goal of practice is to allow ourse ourselves to become the compassionate mess. <laughs> so we allow ourselves to be our messy selves and we embrace that mess with presence, with love and compassion. So for the rest of the meditation, Maybe just seeing what it's like to just let yourself be, if only for a few minutes, just as nature allows itself to be. Remembering and knowing that we too are a perfect piece and part of nature. There's much right to be here as the mountains and the stars the lakes and the flowers can you allow yourself to be as a flower allows itself to be allowing your body to fully be allowing your mind to fully be allowing your heart and feelings to fully be and allowing your life to fully be what is it like when I no longer believe there's anything wrong? What is it like to just simply let myself be, breathe, be and breathe, knowing that I have no bad parts, that I'm just a human being doing my best to be imperfect, is to be human and to be inhuman is to be imperfect. This is what it means to be a human being. And there's nobody any better than you and nobody any less than you. And nobody the same as you either. You're unique. 
and precious and you have equal value to every other being. So letting go of any comparison to anyone else. We don't have to be like anyone else. All we need to do is to be ourselves, to be kind to ourselves, to trust ourselves, to be kind to others. And just before we finish now, just wishing ourselves well. We can put both hands on the heart and we can hold our heart in the same way as we would hold a little baby who we loved. We can hold our whole heart with its light, its brightness and its darkness and everything in between, with its joy and its sorrow and its grief, with the parts that we show others and the parts that we've never shown anyone. We know that there's no bad parts to our heart, just parts that want to be seen and loved and accepted. So wishing yourselves well. May I be happy. May I accept all the parts of myself. May I love and care for all the parts of myself. Thank you, me. Thank you, me. And if it feels okay, you can try. I love you, me. I love you, me. You can try that. If you don't want it, it's okay. Just take a breath. And let go of the practice and just take another breath. And soften the belly and check in. Notice again, how am I? How is my being, this life that is here? That is me and just noticing and being with and allowing and knowing that whatever is here is okay. Whatever is here belongs that you belong to when you're ready now. You can open your eyes.